whitefish will feed on a lot of smaller organisms, especially invertebrates and small uh, copepods and things that are in the water, you know, freshwater shrimp and so on. But when whitefish are bigger, they go for bait fish. And the ones that we're going after today are anywhere from three to five pounds and even bigger. So if you're going to use a lure that imitates bait fish, the finesse fish is one of the best ones from Lunker City. These are three of my favorite color. This is the shad color. And you can see that they're rigged with the finesse fish head which helps them to plane from side to side. This is the, I think it's called the Arkansas Shad. You can see it's got kind of a brown color, especially that side, you can see in the sunlight, how beautiful that looks. And then uh, this one is that, uh, look at flake with the red and purple. It's got really all iridescent colors in there. So one of the main reasons why these work so well is their body profile, you see they're pretty thin if I hold it up. It's not a really wide body bait. And also it's very limp. See if I shake it. So you can imagine when this thing is falling and going from side to side, even though it doesn't have a paddle tail, it really looks lifelike. And literally what I do is lift it up to attract the fish, but when it's on the bottom, I just shake it back and forth to give that kind of action. And usually with the whitefish, when it's laying down on its side, that's when the whitefish will go for it and they'll inhale it in the front half of the body. And usually that gets the hook in their mouth. So this is a great lure to use in open water for walleye, bass, pike, all those different fish, but also ice fishing, especially for whitefish. You know I like fishing with you. <laughs> There's never a dull moment. Even when I'm not getting fish, I can just come over here and watch you. It's just as entertaining, you know what I mean? You always put on a good show. Get it? Good That's show? Good show. Yeah, yeah. You're doing great. You should be a little quieter, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. to see you're, you're just trying oh, to focus. Oh, it's a white fish. Yeah, yeah. Nice fish. You watch that treble hook. You're being very careful. Look at it. Gorgeous. Man, that sun is starting to shine on them. Now they're looking more gold. Beautiful. Did you mark them before you hook them? Absolutely. Did you mark any other ones? Because we just got here. We just got here. Yeah, what we're doing, just you know, James, this is our third move. So you really have to have a machine. Look at how gorgeous. That, that is like picture perfect. You gotta have a machine to move around down here because I think when we're moving, it's like a half a mile or more from spot to spot. How do you know when to move? There's no more fish we marking. <laughs> you're being honest. I thought you were going to say, well, Italo, I look at the sun and I look at the trees and I just know when we've got to well, move. I can make up a story if you like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's an awesome fish. So, Italo, you think this is a fish for the pan? Well, I got a question for you. Do you think we're going to get more before we so. go in? I hope so. You know what? We're going to release it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can go ahead. He fought so well.